Hey guys, it's Andy Combo Floyd here. It is about 9.20 on Friday morning. Woohoo for Friday. Um, I'm here because I got a couple emails in the last few days about publishing and promotion and platform. A um, couple of them have been sort of frantic emails because very understandably people feel quite overwhelmed by the process of getting their book into the world and um, and publishing it, building a platform, all that stuff feels very overwhelming and it really can be. Um, but it's really just a matter of one thing at a time. It There's a lot to do. There's a lot you can do. There are tons of options and there are almost no answers that work for everybody. So I can't give you some simple... If you do this, this will work. Answer, because there just isn't one. Um, there aren't really even standards about stuff in some ways. In in the sense, like I can't. Somebody asked me this morning how much it costs to publish, self-publish a book. It's not the answer anybody wants, but the answer is it depends. Um, it depends on who you hire to edit it, how much editing you get, who you hire to do your cover design, do you hire a formatter. See, it can get really overwhelming very quickly. The fact is that there's there just are no easy answers, and so we have to take things one step at a time. Um, you know, we have to finish writing our books. That's the first step. Um, the second step, I would say, is then to have some beta readers read your book and you can get beta readers anywhere you want. You just want folks who will give you honest, um, helpful feedback, including critical feedback about your book. Those people can be people you know in real life. They can be friends online. Um, they can be professionals. I do manuscript reviews for folks that do that per serve that purpose. Um, they can be almost anybody, but you can get a beta read from, I recommend at least a couple of people, maybe three or four. Um, if not more, I get a lot of them and it's fine with me. Um, and do that and then edit and revise based on that feedback. And then I'd say the next thing to do is to get an editor. So get your book to be as strong as you can possibly make it before you even begin to put it into the world. And then once you're ready, once the book is ready, your next step is to decide whether you want to traditionally publish it or self-publish it. And that's a complicated question that has lots of answers. You can post some questions in the comments below this video if you want, and I'll do my best to answer them. But you can also go to Jane Friedman's site, janefriedman.com. She's got lots of information about that there. So those are really your first steps. Finish your book, make it as good as it can be, and then decide how you're going to publish it. And depending on how you're going to publish, that makes a big difference about what the next steps are. So... I'll be coming back from time to time and talking about this. Um, maybe the next time I'll talk about the difference between traditional and independent publishing and my, why you might want to choose one or the other. I think they're both great. It just depends on who you are. I independently publish, but good, good friends of mine traditionally publish. Both are great. But the key here is to remember, take one thing at a time. There's a ton of advice out there in the world. There's so much... You can read and you can learn, and I encourage you to learn. I encourage you to keep understanding things, but don't be overwhelmed by it. Just write it down. It'll come back and go back to it when you're ready for it, but just breathe and one thing at a time. Hope you guys have a great weekend.